bought a one-way ticket to China and um, <clears throat> started digging deep into history and, um, and atrocities that took place. Um, she, she, she wrote extensively about that and, um, and was a, a serious global thinker. So in portraying that, we laid the park out as waterways. It's, it's actually the waterways that connects all continents and connects us as, as uh, different countries and people. And um, we, we felt, uh, my collaborators and I, this, this is PlaceWorks, uh, Sarah Sutton and, um, and Melissa Erickson, uh, we felt that, um, that putting the underpinnings of waterways was a good way to lay out this park. So you'll see that all the pathways are currents and rivers that flow around this park. Um, the, we, we decided to put a ripple as one of the main features of the park, which is a 100-foot in diameter ripple, which really is an illustration of the power of one with the impact stone creating the ripple. So um, with that, we, we felt that we wanted to make a park that had uh, that encouraged creative play. So the, the ripple is something that we welcome children to play on, uh, as well as the, the, what we call the theater area. This is a, a staging area for um, musicians and children and poetry readings and that kind of thing. Um, we, I designed an eddy, which you'll see on the other side of the ripple, which is, um, is also a waterway um, that, that uh, symbolizes conflict in life. Uh, where, where water goes in two different directions. Um, uh, the, the one thing I do want to point out is actually <clears throat> the history stone. Um, I've spent a good bit of time in China uh, working with materials there and working with workshops and, um, uh, on various projects. And that, hi that history stone is um, it's a 350-year to 500-year-old rice mill, uh, and well, it, it was located in a, a village that was being taken apart, and the guys that I worked with were, were part of the, um, uh, the material gathering uh, portion of that, and they, they put this in, in the container sent back to me. And I felt that this has the, the DNA of 350, 500 years of, of a Chinese village centering around a central rice mill to, to sustain their, uh, the people of their village. So this, there's a lot of um, energy that's locked in that stone. <clears throat> so um, I thought it would be fitting to make a sculpture that actually radiated that energy out to the park. Uh, yeah. Um, then at, at the, at, there's um, what we call at the, the destiny part of the, the park, is you'll find the power of one uh, stone that um, is, just says it loud and clear. Uh, Iris was inspirational to a lot of younger writers, a lot of, um, of women for her courage and, uh, and for what she stood for in terms of humanity. Um, this sculpture over here is I call touch. It represents how we are interconnected and that we all touch each other. And I don't know if I'm leaving any of the bits out. Of course, there's the ID stone that talks about Iris, and then there's the front entry stone, which um, uh, which uh, is the Iris Chang Park sign, really. But it, it, the, these are all unified pieces that that tell the story of Iris's spirit. Um, 
Okay, so this was truly a collaborative effort. Um, I loved working with PlaceWorks, who were uh, were so skilled and creative, and uh, and and really encouraged me to to um, go for it. Um, and I see Jesse back there, um, who is part of PlaceWorks. Um, I, I want to thank my team. Um, 